All right, guys, Willie James here from Dreamhouse Music, and let's talk about MIDI files, okay, and how MIDI files can help you shortcut your learning as a gospel musician. So let's just move forward right into it. We're going to talk about one, what is a MIDI file, okay? Two, how does it benefit you? And three, how to use them to help you advance as a musician, okay? So, what is a MIDI file? How does it benefit you? And how to use them to help you advance as a musician. So, what is a MIDI file? Let's put it in kindergarten terms, okay? A MIDI file is a digital replica of the notes played on an instrument. So when someone plays a song and they record it or on their computer or their recording software, the notes are stored, right? So a MIDI file stores data about the exact notes that are played, the speed, the, temp the tempo, the intensity, like how strong you press the notes and the length. So if you sustain the notes or hold it, a MIDI file stores all that information, right? Now note, a basic MIDI file does not store sound information. Like it doesn't like produce a piano sound or a bass sound or, or, or a drum sound or strings. The sound is actually produced by a MIDI player. A MIDI player has to play the MIDI file and has to have um, a bank of sounds to, to make the sounds that you want to hear. Right, but there are other types of MIDI files. All right, there's what's called an LMS file. It's basically well, it stands for Live MIDI Sync, and this was created, I believe, by um, the creator of Midiculous. We'll talk about that in a bit. So basically, an LMS file uses MIDI and sound data, so you could learn the notes and hear the sound of the instruments, or even the vocals or the background music, so you could learn along. Um, with a more dynamic experience and LMV file takes it to another level that's MIDI mixed with video, right? So you can learn the notes and watch the video of someone playing for a more thrilling experience. So there's the basic MIDI file, there's the LMS file, which is MIDI and sound and LMV, which is MIDI and video. And I'll talk about that in a bit. Let's move forward. So yeah, so both basically an LMS and LMV files are more advanced versions of a regular MIDI file. And so how does a MIDI file help you and help me? Well, it saves a ton of time. So it helps you learn songs without spending hours trying to learn them by air or read sheet music. Okay, those are the ways to read, to learn music. Uh, do you read it? You learn it by air or so a teacher has to sit you down beside you, sit down beside you and show you the song. So a MIDI file is like your personal instructor that you could keep on your computer or your, even your... Well, no, let, let, let's say iPad. It's not good to use MIDI file on your phone. Computer or iPad works. Now, a MIDI file can instantly transpose a song to any key. Now, that's a big problem with gospel ear musicians. We, we're struggling to play in all 12 keys, right? Now, now, I'm not saying that you should skip learning your scales in all 12 keys, learning your chords in all 12 keys, but this will help you, um, you know, give you a little bit of a boost, a shortcut, right? So it's not so painful. So with a MIDI file, you could transpose instantly. So if a song is in F, but you got to learn it in F sharp with the MIDI file, you could transpose it up a semitone and learn all the notes and chords in that new key. So that's really cool. Second thing is you could slow down the speed to learn hard or fast progressions, runs and licks that you can't catch. They're like, oh man, he was playing so fast. Like, oh, I didn't get it. But with the MIDI file, you could slow down the speed of the song or what's being played so you could take your time digest the information and learn more efficiently okay so who creates midi files well musicians do <laughs> all right so someone has to take the time to learn whatever song uh, play it and record it with their music software and create the midi file for us to download and use and We'll show an example in a bit, okay? So other people have to take the time to create these things, right? They have to do the transposing and transcribing and picking out the notes and chords to make it easier for others, okay? So let's appreciate those musicians. Where can I find MIDI files? Well, there there are plenty, I would think, hundreds of thousands of websites that have MIDI files. I mean, this is technology from the 70s, I think. You can go on Google, type the name of any song followed by the word MIDI file, right? And search for the song you're looking for. There's plenty of musicians with websites. They've built websites where you could download MIDI files for songs that you want to learn. 
Some are free, some are paid. Um, it all depends on where you go. So um, I'm actually launching Dreamhouse Un Academy. It's already launched, but I'm working on building a song tutorial vault with MIDI files, okay? So it's called Dreamhouse Un Academy. And basically it's like a Facebook kind of portal. It's my own site with a, a course section where I'll store gospel songs with the MIDI files, okay? So um, for access, uh, there should be a link under this video somewhere or just DM me or um, leave a comment for access, okay? Now, <clears throat> how do I use MIDI files? Well, you need a MIDI player, okay? So MIDI players are the software that play MIDI files, okay? So the best MIDI player for gospel musicians is Midiculous. Midiculous. Some of you probably already know that. For those of you who don't, Midiculous is the best. Um, it's created by Jamal. You can check him out on YouTube, but this is what the interface looks like. So let's uh, let's do a quick demo, okay? Okay, so this is what the Mediculous software looks when you download it on your computer. Now, it can be used on your laptop, computer, or iPad, I believe. Computer or, lab, um, or iPad, you're good to go. I'll talk about how to download it um, in a bit. But first, let's just do a quick demo. So I'm going to load first a basic MIDI file. Remember, we have MIDI file. LMS, which is the MIDI file with sound, and then LMV, MIDI file with video. So I'll show all three and the difference. Um, let's just focus on the top left corner here. You just click on this little white arrow and click on Add Files. And let's just add a uh, basic MIDI file. So here's a song, here's a glory by William McDowell. I'm gonna double click on it. And I'm gonna have to uh, fast forward. Now you hear that? So it doesn't sound that great. Okay, so it's playing some of the notes that I recorded there now. So that's just a basic file, right? So I listened to the song and I, and I basically recorded it in my software and created this MIDI file. Okay, notice the piano sound is not that great. So a basic, um, the basic sounds that come with Mediculous are very plain, they're very basic. You would need to download um, your own library of sounds so that you know it will sound more professional, but it, it does the job, right? If you want to see the chords of a song, um, you know, it works. Now, the great thing is you could transpose um, remember what I talked about, you could transpose. So right now the, the, the original key is in E, E major, and you can tell the original key by the chords that are played. Um, right. Now look, I can go here and I could raise the pitch by one semitone. Now, now it's playing in F. Now you're seeing the F chords here in the chord diagram. transpose up to F sharp. Now I'm doing F sharp chords, right? Or G flat chords, same thing. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Right? So now that's just a basic MIDI file. Now let's do the same thing, but let's jump right to a LMV. Remember it's the MIDI file with video. So you go on this arrow again at the top left, smaller the arrow, Add file. Let's add the LMV. Here comes the glory LMV. These are files that I created, right? Which I'm gonna make available on my website, Dreamhouse Un Academy. But let's let's um let's do the LMV. Okay, here comes the glory of the Lord by William McDonald. It's in so I, I with this LMV, I did it with me doing a full tutorial of the song. Uh, my tutorials will be a mix of like. Um, basic overview of the song, so the basic chord structure, my interpretation. Some some of them I'll do like exact transcription, but those will be shorter because transcription, note by note, it takes a lot more time. But um, for instance, you could tell that the quality is much better because you got video, you got sound. Right? Here's the first. 
Sorry, I messed up five over seven. So notice there, um, right now the the light up keyboard on the bottom is the sheer, is the same that I showed on the video. So this video I, I would like have on YouTube uh, or somewhere else. But uh, the LMV file also is um, you know capturing and playing the notes, right? So the difference is though I could play here and I could transpose. Look, I instantly transpose to F. I notice the music and the singers, the singers and the music, the track that's playing on YouTube actually transposed as well. So that's pretty cool. What if I learn, want to learn in F sharp? Now I'm in F sharp chords. All right, or I could, I could trans, let's go, back. let's go back. So now we're back in the original key, right? At zero. And you play. And you could also reduce the speed. So let's say you need to slow it down. You could go to like 70% over speed here. Just click on it and move it to where you want. Let's go to 70%. Right? Now it's slow down. So let's say you wanted to learn that run there, right? Ba 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 ba. Right? Let's rewind it a little bit. Right? I could slow down that lick and repeat. I forgot how to punch in, but anyways, you could just rewind. Slow down and rewind. All right, you get the point. So let's continue. Okay, let's switch it over to my site, Dreamhouse Un Academy again. Um, look under this video for access or DM me or email me. Um, but this is what my site looks like. It's like a Facebook kind of type of forum, I think. Uh, but you also have a course section on the learning. And I have a little song tutorial vault here. So you click on open and then I'm building out, I'm just brand new, fresh air, building out songs. But let's say I want to learn Goodness of God by CC Winans um, under the file section here. So I did a tutorial. All right. Let's go over good right, with, with the video and me breaking down the chords. But you also have an LMS file here, which remember is MIDI and sound. So you down click on that, download it to your computer. And I should already have it. So let me now upload that file to Ridiculous. So we here, Medicalus, again, top left corner, small arrow, add files. There's goodness of God, LMS. So I'll double click on it. And let's see what happens. So double click and it should start playing. Let me see. Right. So it's originally in A flat. So notice there's no video this time. It's just the keyboard and the background music, right? So, um, still very good tool. Right, let's fast forward. Right, you can turn on the volume. Sorry, I had the, the MIDI piano on. Let's say I want to learn it in A, then you know that would be one semitone up, right? Again, notice that the music and the um, the keyboard has transposed up, right? So if your church or praise team wants to change the key, you could quickly, you know, load things up and. I'm learning in a new key without busting your brain, all right? I still encourage you to try to use your ears and use your brain, but technology is cool too, right? To help you learn faster. All right, if I want to learn in B flat, just go up a key. So 
So the only thing is um the the notes on the keyboard here are a little off. It's doing a A sharp. But um you could just look at the notes and ignore the the, the notation, these little letter notes here. Um so but anyways, at least the notes are there. Right? Okay. And again, let's go back to the original key, A flat. Right, so very cool, right? Let's talk about downloading Midiculous. So go to Google, type in Midiculous, Midiculous, M-I-D-I-C-U-L-O-U-S. And if you click on um, the thing here, it's logged me out, I think. But this is what this is what it will take you to, right? Um, the number one online learning software. It's free. Midiculous is free, by the way, if I got to mention that. Um, once, you, once you're logged in, you have to create an account and log in. So just create an account. I think you go log in, right? So you'd log in and then you would get back to that page. So once you log in, click on Ridiculous, click free player, and then you'll see a download button here. So you download it and then it should take you to the shopping cart. You check out. That's okay. You check out and then uh, just follow the instructions in your email to download the software, right? Let's talk about Dreamhouse Unit Academy. Again, it's my personal site where I'll be building out a song tutorial vault um, with song breakdowns and MIDI files. Again, varying degrees of precision and difficulty. Uh, the more difficult, the shorter the, the, the MIDI files will be. Um, maybe like you just want a snippet of like a gospel chord progression or a run or a 736 or 251. Um, you know, just let me know. Anyways, you can communicate with me here. Again, check the link under this video. And uh, let's use those MIDI files to help us advance and make it easier to become great musicians. All right. Any questions? Just let me know.